Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than uh, the normal Scarecrow video because I'm actually going to be talking about a few things that are going to be happening uh, coming up in the next couple weeks and we're also going to be hunting Medved which is something we typically don't do and uh, as you guys may know I have been trying to create an intro for every single reserve that way depending on which reserve I play in the video there will be a different intro that plays and well since we're doing it like that I'm trying to play each and every reserve in order that way I can create the intro for it and uh, I guess remember which intros I still need to create I, I don't know this is just kind of like the way I wanted to do it so we're gonna be playing every single reserve for the next uh, few videos until we've played all of them and have every intro created uh, but the other thing that we're gonna talk about today is the fact that um, my wife and I just finally got into a brand new place so we're going to be moving very shortly and that means there's probably going to be slightly less content over the next few days. But once we get fully moved in, we're going to be having a pretty awesome setup going. I'm going to do my best to make an awesome streaming setup, upgrade a little bit of my equipment, and hopefully just provide a better experience for all of you that watch the videos and that watch the streams. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so, um... <laughs> My daughter woke up from her nap and I had to pause my recording for a second and this is what I come back to. So yeah, I don't even remember where I was or what I was talking about. Um, I think I was talking about the 50k celebration, but uh, anyway, I really appreciate each and every one of you that watches the channel. It really just still blows my mind that we're even close to 50,000 subscribers. I never thought in a million years that I would even be able to do this uh, just as like a, a for fun thing. Never in a million years would I have thought that I could have done it as a career and because of all of you that watch the videos every day that has become a reality for me and I can continue to make amazing content for you all. It's just insane to think that back when I was like 14 or 15 it was always my dream to become a YouTuber and to get to share my adventures with, uh, with thousands of people and and the fact that it's a reality now is, is still just so mind-blowing to me and I, it's honestly just so difficult to put it into words because it's something I never thought that I'd actually be able to do and because of all of you that watch the videos it's a possibility for me and I, I really just can't thank you guys enough so thank you guys so much for getting the channel to the point that it is now almost at 50,000 subscribers and it's it's just crazy to think about but anyway, as I was saying, what we're going to do in celebration of 50k is we are going to have five five-hour live streams. So for five days in a row, we're going to be streaming for around five hours each day. And we're going to stream the Hunter Call of the Wild on each of those days, along with one other game. And those games were chose by you guys during the last live stream that I did. A lot of you wanted to see these five games right here. So the games that we are going to be playing are going to be The Forest, Bigfoot, Seven Days to Die, Phasmophobia, and The Hunter Primal. So we've got a pretty stacked lineup. And the way it's going to work is we'll do two to three hours of Call of the Wild during each of these streams. And then the last two to three hours is going to be the second game. And I am just super excited to do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I also am going to try and prepare a 50k subs video, however that might take a little bit longer considering we're going to be moving within the next week. I don't know when that's going to come out, but it definitely will come out alongside the live streams at some point. Uh, we'll just have to try and find the perfect time to do that. And there is that little female that we took down. Obviously nothing insane, but it was giving us a shot so I figured we might as well try to take it out. So now that we've gone over the news that I have for the next couple weeks, let's talk about what today's video is going to be. Basically what I've decided to do is take what I would consider the premium variations of weapons in Call of the Wild and take them out here on Medved Taiga and just see what we can end up finding in multiplayer. Basically what I would consider a premium variation of a weapon is, well, 
the much nicer looking skin variations that some of them have because a lot of these guns do have two or even three different skin variations this one right here is what I would consider the premium version of the 454 and just like right here we have the premium Rayo variation of the 6.5 we've got the Empress for the 7 mil which is considered the premium variation of that and I'm basing this off of what they would be considered in the hunter classic in the hunter classic all of these would be considered the premium weapon skins because they are a much nicer version of another gun that's in the game now the hope is that we can actually take some cool trophies with these rifles and well handgun and shotgun too since we have those with us as well and i figured why not do it on medved since we're trying to hunt on every reserve that way i can get my intros done and all these brand new intros shown to all of you guys I figure this would be the perfect way to do it, and I figure since Medved's one of my least favorite maps, we might as well get it out of the way early. So let's see if we can find any crazy trophies today, and yeah, we'll just put all these weapons to work. And also I apologize if this video doesn't seem quite as well done or if it seems a little bit rushed because, well, to be honest, it is very rushed considering I don't have uh, as many days to pack as I thought I would, so we're going to be pretty busy packing over the next few days and I've got to get these videos ready for you guys so there'll be some content during the time that I am doing all the packing. So right in front of us we have a pretty decent looking uh, reindeer. This one is a nice level 4 with a 355 lower estimate. This is probably going to be one of the better reindeer we take today since they tend to uh, have some issues with not scoring super high. Let's go ahead and get a shot into it. And then we can see what this uh, musk deer is as well. It is just a female so we'll let that one live. But then we've also got ourselves a few other animals around here too but I don't think any of them are really worth taking out. And now if I were to pick one thing that I would love to find here on Medved today, I think it would honestly have to be a rare musk deer. That's something I don't have. I don't have a diamond one either, so if we could find something along the lines of that, that would just be amazing. I wouldn't be too upset with finding any other diamonds or rares here on Medved either because in general I don't hunt this map too often, so there is some trophies that I'm missing from pretty much every species. So after a little bit of time spent searching we do have our reindeer right here and we can finally get a look at what this thing is going to score. I'm going to assume it's on the lower end of that estimate and it is at 358.40 but that's a very good looking reindeer. Absolutely love the way some of the larger reindeer look although I do wish they were a little bit bigger overall. I do think the reindeer and the caribou probably have some of the most... I guess inaccurate true racks, their size just does not compare to the real life ones, which is a little bit unfortunate, but once you get into that high level 4 and level 5 range, they do start to look pretty good. Well, this musk deer may not be anything too special because it is just a female, but I really can't pass up the opportunity to just blast this thing with buckshot, as that's something I've never done, and I'm really curious how it will do, so let's just go ahead and run up to this thing as close as we can get, and then... Go ahead and drop some buckshot into it. That is killing way slower than I would have expected. Oh man. Did that even get vitals? I don't think it did. That is sad actually. Wow, that's really sad. So from 22 meters, buckshot could not get vitals. Oh no. That's uh, yeah it sucks. That's uh, not good. You know, if I were to pick the next three maps for them to completely overhaul and redistribute the populations of and change the need zone times, I would have to say Medved has to be the number one followed by Hirschfelden and Tiawaroa. I feel like those maps are the ones that need the most work when it comes to population distribution and also the need zone times. Now, Tiawaroa, I think the population distribution on that map is actually pretty good. However, the times need a little bit of work. There's a very long period of day where absolutely nothing is drinking and I feel like it needs to be a little bit more balanced because there's so many times on Tiawaroa where I join a server in multiplayer and it's just at one of those times where there's absolutely nothing going on so your only option is to go into the very thick forests and hunt there which that's obviously not everybody's favorite way to hunt. So I think what they could do is kind of even the times out a little bit. Currently on Tiawaroa, there is so many different species that drink at the exact same time virtually. You've got the Sika deer, you've got the fallow deer, you've got this boar that's deciding to attack us. 
there we go. We got it. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, there's just so many species that drink at the same time, and I think if they just spread out the times that they drink, that would be good for that map. However, for Medved, I think one of the things that they would need to do the most is just kind of redistribute where the animals are located. Because there are some areas of the map that just seem pretty dead or only have females for some reason. So I'd like to see a bit of a redistribution here. And I would also like to see all of the need zone times switched around a little bit here on Medved because currently there's a lot of animals that either drink at night or barely have any daylight drink time at all. The brown bear and the musk deer drink from like 3 to 7.30 which is definitely not ideal if you don't enjoy nighttime hunting, you don't get the full drink time to hunt. And then for lynx, they're going to be getting their time removed soon apparently so I think that does mean that Medved's probably going to be getting a rework soon, but with Lynx not having a drink time, I'm curious like how that's even going to work. How are they going to make Lynx hunting still fun without them having a drink time? I'm really curious to see what they do. So I, I guess we'll just have to see. It's going to be interesting. And then as far as Hirschfelden, I feel like Hirschfelden's biggest issue right now is the population distribution. There's so many areas where I would expect to see animals during certain times of day, but we just don't see them there. I really feel like animals should be feeding out in the fields a little bit more than they do. Now, we currently do have animals that feed out in the fields on Hirschfelden, but not quite to the extent that I would expect, and also not spread across the map as much as I would expect. It's more of just certain areas, but it would be really nice to see them have the ability to feed in all of the fields throughout the map and that would be the primary area that all of the animals would go to feed. I think that would just make a lot of sense to have the fields be the focus of the feed time for Hirschfelden, because right now it feels like there's only certain species that you find in the fields, and it's only in certain fields. But let me know down below what you guys would want changed about those three maps. Let me know what you guys think would be the best options for EW when it comes to a rework of these maps. Oh wow, we've got ourselves another wild boar right there. That one is a level 3. If I'm being honest though, it looks a little bit dark. I mean, that could just be me not hunting them a lot and just kind of mistaking it for being a little bit darker, but you never know. That could end up being a melanistic, so I think we will take it out. It's about 94 away. I think we should be able to get this. That looked decent, but I guess it wasn't. So that is slightly unfortunate. But that second shot did look good, so I think we did manage to get into a lung. Okay, that's actually a really big moose track. Max weight estimate. Imagine if we got ourselves another giant moose after that one we got the other day. Because that thing was by far one of the nicest moose I've ever come across, so if we could find another big one like that, that would be crazy. And as per usual, it does seem that I was wrong about the fur type, and it's just a normal wild boar. A little unfortunate, and it seems we managed to hit the skull, so it looks like it actually hits slightly higher than what I wanted it to, but I guess that's my fault for not zeroing down to 75. You know, it's very rare that I hunt this map at night, and to be honest, it's very rare that I hunt this map at all, but it's especially rare that I would hunt it at nighttime, and I gotta say, I'm actually kind of enjoying this, and it's making me want to do a nighttime wild boar hunt here on Medved Taiga, and try to get ourselves a diamond wild boar. Currently, I've only got one diamond boar, and then I've been trolled by one once as well, and I have two rares, but I still don't have the albino, so there's a lot of stuff that we could look for with wild boar. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see me do a nighttime wild boar video here on Medved, because I do think that could be a lot of fun. Well guys, as there is no more Medved servers left, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I know this was a shorter video than normal most likely, and it didn't have as much hunting as normal, but I really wanted to just get out as much of the info as I could about what's going to be happening to the channel and uh, in my own life these next couple weeks, and just to kind of give you guys the heads up. So I hope you guys can forgive me for a little bit of a, uh, I guess lackluster video compared to normal we will get back onto the regular videos and streams once I get finished with moving everything should be back to normal so I appreciate everybody that's here once again thank you guys so much for getting us to this point in the channel the fact that we're almost at 50k subs is crazy and I never would have expected to ever be here in a million years and let alone being able to do this as a job and being able to fulfill my dreams from ever since I was a kid. I, I just can't even thank you guys enough. And I've said it so many times, but 
Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for being here, for watching the channel, for being a part of this journey and sharing all of our adventures. It really does mean the world to me, and without you guys, none of this would be possible. So, thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!